it is the gold and silver prices which have seen some stability come in the gold price is more than silver gold is now holding off its 10 month lows we have seen buying come in for last three or four sessions after six weeks of decline so it seems to be holding around those 11 30 marks this is where we think the gold prices might end in 2016 as well but kishore narne now joins us with his strategies kishore hi good to have you the metal space first and would you call it anything more than profit taking um yes manisha i think um uh so looking at uh, overall metal it's basically dollar which is driving the, uh them in the short uh short term and um i feel probably i think most of the things have been discounted in dollar and uh, we should see some stability coming in the january first week or uh, second week uh but again it's not a turnaround at this point of time sure so uh, i are you still putting out buy calls on this one how much of a dip do you see here before you can start buying into it uh i think uh, in the base metal uh, uh, scenario we are still on the on the bear side and uh, we are still selling in uh, copper uh, with the probably 369 360 as a potential 368 as a potential targets mm -hmm. uh, lead zinc probably uh, zinc is weaker at this point of time than lead relatively so we are we are doing spreads with uh, buy lead and sell zinc uh, uh even at current level so i think there should be some uh, uh, uh disparity coming in these two things and nickel uh, probably when should uh, should be looking at uh, 715 718 as a potential short term target Okay. Also, uh, Kishore, how are you looking at the precious metals? Because we started this year with bullish calls from you. How are you starting 2017 now? Uh, I think uh, pretty much most of the negative news in uh, gold silver has been discounted. Uh, see, uh, the entire uh, uh, view for 2017 will come from that how sooner and how faster the U.S. inflation will uh, uh, accelerate. Uh, uh, whether the Fed will fall uh, fall short of covering that or not. See whatever uh, at this point of time, three interest rate hikes which has been discounted in the market uh, for 2017. Uh, but uh, the unknown is that how Trump is going to uh, come out with his policies, whether he will be too inflationary or whether he will not be uh, as promised. Hmm. So that is going to be driving the market. So I'm not going to take a long term bet at this point of time until unless I. But see, any levels? Uh, any any levels? One minute, Kishore. What are you not going to do? You won't take a long call right now. I'm not taking a long term view okay. right now until unless I see. Uh, what, uh, what the policies of Trump are going to be? Yeah, uh, but what I levels? Think personally, Kishore? the inflation uh, will be rising in in US faster than the interest rates could catch up. Hmm. So I think that should be still bullish for gold. So anything close to thousand eighty eleven hundred C. Uh, at this point of time, fifty dollars is not a big deal from here. Hmm. Uh, six seven percent uh, hmm. fall from here. So, but I'm not uh, looking gold falling beyond that thousand fifty thousand eighty dollar levels. Uh, so again, that level becomes a, a, a buying level for uh, longer term investors. Mm. Uh, but again, don't anticipate uh, the goal to go up sharply to fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> so we'll be in the thousand fifty to uh, uh, eleven eighty, twelve hundred dollars range for the next six months or so. Okay. Well, Kishore for me always remains the best observer of gold. He was the uh, first one to call at nineteen fifty. Remember after uh, two thousand ten, eleven yeah. that. Uh, Speaking off, uh, and even at 1100 or a little lower than that, uh, right, Kishore? You called the bottom yeah. of gold, right? Uh, <laughs> so we'll watch you very closely. The day Trump announces his budget, you will be our guest <laughs> to tell us whether this is pro gold or anti gold. Thank you very much for joining us, Kishore, and have a great 2017 yourself. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Manisha, as well. Now, one thing that 2016 is definitely going to hand over to 2017 is the Tata mystery fight. <laughs> and.